Zero bound for Manila. In command of Zero Bound, it's not that loud in school, and this is Kevin, your senior cabin crew. Our flight time is approximately 45 minutes, with a cruising up to 36,000. We just arrived in Manila at Terminal 2. Thank you. Domestic baggage on the right. This is Terminal 2 by the way, which is also known as Centennial Airport. And it's really just very close to the luggage belt. After you, after you disembark from the plane and look it's quite empty and on the luggage belt there's also a camera so you would know if the bags are already loaded into the carousel it's quite useful we have already claimed our luggages and we're just waiting for our um, airport transfer to the hotel. So just to give you an idea, when you arrive at the Terminal 2 Centennial Airport, if you don't have um, airport transfer, there's also a coupon taxi over there, which is uh, a little bit more expensive than a regular taxi. If you prefer to have a meter taxi, there's also a signage over there and um, that would be the, of course, the meter taxi and that will be dependent on the uh, distance and, of course, traffic in Manila. Okay, so our transfer is here. This is a Toyota Rush. just arrived at our hotel. This is the Shangri-La at the Fort Bonifacio Global City. Apparently our room is not yet available. It will be ready in around 15 minutes. So we are just waiting at the lobby. Room number 3107. It's here. Two beds, deluxe room, and there's a desk. And we have a high street view. This is Bonifacio Global City. Over there is Ascot. Down there is Central Square. This is the American Express building. It's a wonderful view, sunny outside the sink and mirror and there's a tub toilet and the shower area it's very clean it also smells so fresh wonderful we're just waiting for our luggage to be brought up here very nice view if you need anything sir just dial zero sir very well enjoy your sir And there's also a bottle of wine for us. And we also got some welcome chocolates from Malagos. It's a local Filipino chocolate, 85% dark. It is from Dabao. Another present from Shangri-La. Let's see what's inside. It looks like it's a book. Okay, it's at home with Shangri-La at the Fort, Manila. Recipes and tips from our home to yours. Nice. 
Hello. Yes, sir. Your okay, I'll take them. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this is the next delivery. Some soft, fluffy pillows. We are at Raging Bull Burgers in BGC for a quick lunch. We ordered the Wagyu beef burger and some fries on the sides. And of course, some ketchup. Now it's coffee time here at the bakehouse at Shangri-La. I have a mango cake and this is cappuccino. Hi guys, we are at High Street Lounge of Shangri-La and we are having pre-dinner drinks before we head out to the restaurant, of course, for dinner. Cheers! These are the different juices, fresh fruits, flavored water. Wow, there's so much choice. Here we have some cheeses. Yogurt. These are the fruits. Melon, orange, pineapple, papaya, some salad more fruits this is their bread section it's not just that there's more here pandesal is a local filipino bread there's mamon there's some sweets some more sweets danish pastry donut chocolate donut almond croissant and we have the local filipino desserts there's suman biko puchinta waffles and pancakes with some sauce and let's see what else is there this is really massive breakfast buffet hash browns baked potato tomatoes some sausages morning and this is their cooked stuff egg noodles egg fried rice So this is their Chinese section and then chicken arroz caldo and congee. I believe this would be Indian section. And then there's the egg section, hard boiled egg. Hello, you can request any type of egg you would like, so sunny side up scrambled omelette and this is typical Filipino breakfast there's beef tapa and chicken casino billies and garlic fried rice Good morning Manila, last day in the Philippines. We're having breakfast at the High Street Cafe of Shangri-La at the Fort in BGC. Big breakfast to start your day.